time for a bicycle trip. It's been two years. And before I always had that irritating sound in my back wheel. So I took it to the workshop. I said make sure all the spokes are at the right tension. Listen. Still the same. That was wasted money. Not so far away from home. But I ran into some tough hills already. And I'm out of water. I got two large bottles, but I've been looking around for a supermarket or something for 20 kilometers. Nothing. Boy, I'm thirsty. First campsite, Galmarden. So normally I have this self inflating mattress but it's not very comfortable so now I also have this so with those two combined I should be okay July and August have been very bad chilly and wet now I'm going on a bicycle trip in September and I have this wonderful weather. A while ago, on another trip, I drove through this town. And I thought it looked really cute, so I wanted to come back. First time I see the Citroen Ami in real life. I love stuff like this. Anguin is just in the French-speaking part of Belgium. And the campsite is in the Dutch-speaking part. Look how beautiful. See how the landscape is made out of layers. And as you go further away, they get lighter. Focus, focus. No, it's not gonna focus. My head doesn't sit right. Oh yeah, it was backwards. I got a sandwich at a gas station, but I couldn't find a park bench or anything like that. Cheers.
the GPS got me on this unpaved road. But okay, as long as it doesn't get worse than this. They got me riding along one of those super boring canal routes again. But at least it's flat, you know. It's September now, so these babies are about to be mowed down. And here's a, a friendly cat. Oh! Right in front of my reel. This is so nice. Typical for the south of Belgium. I think the poor girls are thirsty. I love my GPS. I've been using it for three days of riding now. And you see, it says the battery is still full. They are the Panasonic in a loop rechargeable AA batteries. So this is incredibly efficient. Anyway, I arrived at the next campsite. The Domaine de Clairefontaine à Chapelle les Herlemont. Today I'm going to explore La Louvière. I'm just going to have to take a raincoat and an umbrella, just in case. My campsite is quite close to this highway. I think like half a kilometer. But it's so strange, traffic noise never seems to bother me. There was also a cricket on the campsite and it bothered me more than the traffic. is like an angry bird on wheels. This is the ultimate form of tourism for me. To be in another town away from home. In a busy city streets with stores, restaurants, pubs. Someone new arrived at the campsite with quite a remarkable tent setup. I put my bicycle there. My towel that I just used for the shower is being blasted with sun rays. This campsite is near a lake. Because of the humidity there's a lot of critters here. I'm constantly being eaten alive. I love the sound of the old tractor. For crying out loud, man. I'm still alive, okay? Go sit on some fishies or something. These things are really bad, look, I got marks all over. I'm glad I'm getting out of here. I felt the rain, but really just a few drops so far. I just left the campsite. Look at this refreshing morning situation. 
The air quality is incredible. So I drove just a few kilometers and then it started raining really hard. And it's been like that for hours. Six kilometers to go. I haven't been filming much, it was raining the whole time. Now I look at this place and I've been here before. the next campsite. I nearly killed myself getting here. This is on top of a hill so there's probably not gonna be so much insects. So now I have to get some food. But the camping manager said I don't have to go to the right and then all the way down. If I go to the left, there is a bakery, that's all. Boy, these roads are really steep here. Anyway, there was no bread, so I got some sandwiches and some cookies. The girl behind the counter was amazing. She was like this perfect Barbie doll. Really pretty woman. A very nice landscape here. Going down this incredibly steep road. So the plan today was that I was gonna ride the bicycle to Namur and check out the town. But when I arrived in the in the town where I met here yesterday, I thought it looked pretty interesting. So instead I'm just gonna go to the town center on foot and explore a little bit. When you saw me out of breath yesterday, it's because I tried to climb this hill on the bicycle with a trailer. But it doesn't show on video. But if I hold my phone horizontally, this is the slope you have. See what I mean? This is the town center of Floref. Explain to me a scenario where I would ignore this and go to another town that I've seen before. What is it for? Some kind of river passage. I have a little problem here. The sole inside my shoe keeps moving around. And then my toe sits on the edge of the sole and I get a blister. If I see a DIY store I'm gonna get some double-sided tape, but I don't think in a small town like this. So that thing on top of the hill is a convent and also a boarding school. You can visit it, but it's not my kind of thing. There's not much that makes me more sad and depressed and churches and stuff. Imagine being a kid in this boarding school. If my parents put me here, I'd probably jump off this wall. Look at those people's terrace. That is so cool. I 
I went up this very steep road and it's a dead end, it's just a cemetery. A rooster is the symbol of Wallonia. It was what I was afraid of. Floref is a very cute town, but it takes you all of half an hour to see it. So to avoid boredom, I took the train to Namur. Lots of shopping here. Before the campsite, I found this. It's a letter from a kid. He attached it to a helium balloon, and when you find it, you're supposed to send it to him. I packed and left the campsite of Floref. Now I'm passing through the town where I was yesterday. It's been like this for a while. Oh, is it stopping? Wait. Sorry, ducks. Stay, 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 stay. Relax. Don't fly away. Ah. Oh. This morning I left at 9.30, now it's 11.30 and I'm halfway already. It's very easy because I was near the river. The next town is also near the river, so it's like almost flat. Or maybe going a little bit downhill even. A flock of geese. By the way, check out my legs. You know that the, the day before yesterday I got bitten by insects? This is two days ago, man. And it is so itchy. Beautiful view. And some people climbing rocks there. Next campsite. This is what I'm talking about. See, I just got here and my sheets are in the sun. My bed is gonna be nice and dry. The local supermarket is closed, unfortunately. This little path goes from the road to the campsite. And here, next to the campsite, lives a guy that collects iterations of the Mazda MX-5. Good morning. 
sometimes when it's foggy and the sun comes through you have like this amazing silver color in the sky I'm gonna leave the mule here and walk around. This is my last day of sightseeing. I used to have those little guys as a toy. This is a bigger town. So I found a DIY store where I could buy some double-sided tape. I can finally fix this shoe problem and stop limping all over the place. My god, how does this not sink? Someone's been having a party! Hello guys, I just left the campsite. Woke up at 7, I was already at 9. I've been here before, you see that highway up there? I'm not going up the highway of course, but... I have to climb out of this valley and go to the same level. Fortunately, apart from that, there is not so much uphill to do today.